Why is a virus said to be borderline between living and non-living? Well, understand this. For any living thing, in order to live, they must produce energy. Say, for example, in a human, energy is created by conversion of sucrose into glucose and then into energy. Well, but this conversion of sucrose to glucose and eventually to energy is only possible because of enzymes. A human body is able to produce these enzymes because we have already inherited the code required to develop these enzymes in the form of our DNA. As such, the information in the DNA is converted to RNA which is then eventually translated to produce this required enzymes. A virus, however, do not have this mechanism to produce their own enzymes. As such, it is not able to live independently or autonomously. However, once its DNA or RNA integrates with the DNA of a host, for example a human, then it can now have access to these enzymes by freeloading on the mechanism that the host uses to produce the enzymes. Now using these enzymes, it can replicate and spread across the body and therefore not just live but also thrive and hence now it becomes alive whereas earlier it was dead and therefore it is said to be borderline between living and non-living.